Hello friends, welcome. In this lecture, we are going to learn about what is quadratic residue, right? So, if an in, uh, an integer is called a quadratic residue, if and only if y square congruent to a mod p as solution in z p, all right? So let us understand this equation by solving a sum. So let us take example as uh, p is equal to seven, all right? So z star p would be equal to uh, p which is equal to 7 so z star 7 will be equal to 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 uh, we have taught you how to find out z star in our first lecture that is mathematics of cryptography if you forgot then do refer uh, we had provided the suggestion link in the top right corner please do check it all right uh, now let us solve this so what we have to do is we have to take each and every number and we have to square it and um, use the modulus 7 number so because here we have given p is equal to 7 so 1 square mod 7 2 square mod 7 3 square mod 7 4 square mod 4 square mod 7 5 square mod 7 and 6 square mod 7 alright so what will be 1 square mod 7 1 2 square mod 7 4 3 square 9 mod 7 2 4 square 16 mod 7 again 2 5 square mod 7 uh, 25 so it will be equal to 4 and uh, 6 square mod 7 will be equal to 1 right so these are the values we got after applying the formula y square equal to a mod p y square congruent to a mod p right so what this suggests is that we just got the values 1 2 4 1 2 4 every time the value 3 5 and 6 we are not able to get using this formula so what quadratic residue says that after solving this uh, square method y square method whatever values you get that is 1 2 and 4 all these three values are considered as quadratic residue and all the remaining values that is 3 5 and uh, 6 those are considered as quadratic non residue all right so this was a very simple method called quadratic residue. Thank you.